<laughs> yeah. This is it was definitely it was definitely gross. That's the price you pay to, to drink uh uh zero sugar so- sodas, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> my black coffee in a can. <laughs> It's a horrible time of day to be drinking this, but yeah, I haven't I had coffee say. today, so <laughs> that, that, screw it. That's, that's the uh, that's the side of a di- addiction there, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you know, seven seven p.m. Let's <laughs> let's have co- let's have coffee. <laughs> oh, screw it! Welcome, welcome everybody to the anime uh, to the anime versal reviews podcast here on on the genreverse podcast network uh youtube and and any uh uh podcast apps that you uh get your podcast from uh lrmonline.com is is the website that you know hosts all all of this plus you should go there every every day for all your entertainment news needs and opinions inter- interviews reviews all all sorts of uh uh great stuff over at lrmonline.com and genreverse genreverse.com that's the word genre the word verse put them together no hyphens or anything weird like that dot com there there you go uh i'm kyle malone at that kyle malone on on twitter and uh that guy over there there is brian does pope mythos on youtube what's up hey how's it going it's go it's going uh welcome to anyone new first time joining this show or if you're coming back thank thanks for that we got a a boost in in viewers uh and uh subscribers from a uh kind of a fill filler episode lo and behold an anime uh podcast needed a filler episode <laughs> last last week um uh brian had some personal stuff come up christine and i uh weren't doing super hot that sunday uh when we usually record the show hi dog uh but i talked 86 and uh yeah that was that was an ex- experience, and uh, I know a lot of uh, people are looking for forward to me doing uh, the rest of season one, what they call se- season two, but I'm I'm guessing it was just two two cores, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try, guys. Uh, we're we're up to episode twenty now. We finished episode nineteen, so uh, just a few few more left, and uh, yeah, it's who man. Anyway, ways. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Spy Family, on the other other hand, is not uh, uh, traumatic for me or or most people. That I would assume, but man, this the these last two two episodes kind of touch on some uh, uh, familial things that uh, things about like toxic parenting styles and uh, t- toxic academic uh, ec- expectations and a lot of cool little th- things wrapped up in, in adorable p- packages, man. Uh, why don't you tell me a bit what you thought of, of episode six and, and d- do you remember the out of context gif I, I sent you last week? Don't know. The two kids no. fighting. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it just... Um... It's it's crazy that you know the show's about you know this operation this spy mission, but now I'm all invested in sort of the school politics. <laughs> it's like I want to know what how does this all work and these families and and just I mean, there's a lot laid out in these two episodes and I, yeah, it's it's a weird sort of detour and I don't know if that's gonna be the rest of the show or if it's just a detour. I don't know, but it yeah. is it is interesting. It it is. Uh, episode six was was a lot of fun. I I think so much of of what happens earlier in in the episode gets lost once on An- Anya gets to school. But there's a lot of really cool things in there, and and you get um, the beginning. You know, all this time Yoru or Yor, as some you know, I I try to pronounce things as as they generally are actually uh, pronounced. Um, but Yoru is is still. Tr- grappling with the idea that she's just an outsider in this in this family and uh you get a really cool scene with her asserting her motherdom if you if you will man it sucks christine's not not here tonight sorry sorry guys she's dealing with a headache and uh uh but um yeah there was a lot of great mother daughter yeah and uh, just uh mother stuff yeah. exact exactly and and her kind of coming coming to terms with her with her motherhood you know like i said making um some really cool 
cool moments in in there. Uh, and then of course everything in the in the school is is a class, and and it's kind of fun to see uh, some of the parenting tips that that I want to uh, give my son uh, and have being being used here. Um, we'll talk about that on on the other side of the the break with the with the spoilers, just in case uh, people are checking us out that that way, spoilers and, and non spoilers. But I enjoyed episode, episode seven, man. It gave us uh, Anya's he face, so that was good, and uh, some some really cool actiony uh, moments with Yoru. Um, but what about episode seven, man? I I really dug episode seven. It was it was a lot of fun. What'd you think? Of, what'd you think of it? Yeah, yeah, it, it, like what I was saying earlier, the the politics. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it, and it's crazy. We're we're getting a lot of new characters, and now I'm invested in them. And like, oh, you know, where, where's this leading, and where's this going? So yeah, the show's been you know slowly introducing us to more and more characters. Like I said, I we know that there's a central mission. You know, it's been established mm-hmm. for many episodes how much of this plays into that i don't know you know is it is it i just don't know the structure of 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 the story but and yeah you know there there's so many ways this this show can go this this episode deals a lot with with like i said i mentioned toxic parenting styles you know the do this or you're you're grounded or you know um uh uh putting too much too much academic pressure on on someone not necessarily lis- listening to what your your child wants out of a out of a um project or or experience all things like that go go in here and um people i'm i'm sure will uh jump to um some of the uh parenting uh culture and ac- academic uh academic culture in in japan but that some of that stuff is is universal you know yeah sure it might be more uh prominently to more prominent to harp on academics in some cultures than others but um everyone knows someone that that kind of dealt with some of that that stuff high expectations and and things like that and the show really man it's just setting itself up to kind of you know it's almost like the the dr stone for for building a family (laughs) Mm. where where it's you know this this really cool fantastical thing but it's it's uh supported by very real very tangible uh experiences and uh i like that it's it's cool that's good yeah you're right (laughs) it's funny because i um it's an anime that i find myself i'm smiling the whole time it's not really a comedy but there's little comedic moments but yeah it's just a feel good um anime i think i had said a week a couple weeks back how it reminded me of sort of old school sitcoms yeah where you just sort of get a lesson and, and by the end of the mm-hmm. episode you're just smiling wow oh, that was just a good you know 22 minutes of, yeah. inter- of family friendly entertainment yeah it's 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 great i you know one of my one of my all-time favorite sitcoms um and this isn't you know super related to to it or anything but that always left me well at least for most of the most of the seasons uh left me like that you know smiling ha- happy that was a lot of fun home improvement yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> that that's such a great a great classic sitcom that uh um a lot of those family sitcom do they even have family sitcoms anymore like everything i see is is the office uh yeah. uh some sort of variation of of mockumentary type type stuff or modern family which is a mockumentary type type yeah but you know what i'm saying like there there is no modern no family is the closest and like you said it change it's a different kind of yeah of production um it's real funny um I, know, I don't know, man. <laughs> if there's any just like family. Is structure. there any fr- Fresh Prince or Family Mat- Matters? Is there any uh, home, home thing that I can think of? Um, or even a Drew Carey show, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, yeah. Step we're by step. Dating now. ourselves now. <laughs> step by step. by step. Yeah, man. Oh, the whole T- TGI Friday mm. block. Oh, God. Nostalgia. Anime. Anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah, I like that. I like that I- idea of it, man. Anyways, uh, guys, we'll take a quick word from our sponsors, Grow Generation. I think I forgot to mention that we're sponsored by 
by them when we uh, started the show. We'll come back and uh, talk a little bit about some uh, spoiler stuff and some some specifics in, in episodes six and seven. Grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. For all of your cultivation needs, Grow Generation has the right products, service and staff to make your grow successful. Go to www.growgeneration.com where the pros go to grow. And thank you, Grow Generation, for for sponsoring the episode as usual. Uh, Guys, description box down below. uh, Whenever you go over there, you purchase something, let them know. Let them know the genreverse uh, sent you over there. Um, LRM online, I, either way. And uh, yeah, yeah. So here, there's your spoiler warning. If you guys haven't seen these episode episodes yet, uh, why? If you're you're waiting to to binge, you know, the first core, or or maybe you're waiting on on dubs. Um, I'll say this: this I am always partial to how I discover an an anime and. We weren't going to wait for for dubs on this. this watch it in su- subs. I like the sub voice a lot better uh, than the dubs, but they're not bad. They're, they're, have you check, checked out the dub at all, Brad? I did. Ryan? I, I did check them, but um, I had the opportunity to watch because I watched these two back to back. I didn't watch mm-hmm. uh, six last week, and I could have watched it dubbed um, the six, but I didn't because mm. um, they're wow. like a week behind. That's it. Usually they're like two or three behind, but that's cool. Um, it's cra- crazy. Hulu is showing. I know some show, people you know? watching this that are that wait for the dub. <laughs> yeah. So they'll wait so a week or two. Yeah. It, if that's what you're do- doing now, now we're talking spoilers and dear God, God, man, like Yoru and and the uh, would would be kidnappers. I love that shit. Oh yeah. And that's like the first mo- moment where she's like, "No motherfucker, I'm her goddamn mother. I will destroy destroy you." And this watermelon, <laughs> or melon, whatever, whatever it was, a melon of some some sort. Um, I like that, dude. I like I like that. I love all the little uh, stuff. Anya gets her school uniform. She's so proud of it, showing it off to every everyone. Cute little thing, things like that. I've I've got a kid who who did stuff like that. You you work with kids. You see, uh, you don't work with the the uh, youngest kids like that, but you see them when they're super proud of of things like that. Like, like- I said, man, there's. Go I liked ahead. how she was surprised that everyone had the same outfit. <laughs> yeah. Like I was just, it was just a kid moment. And they're like, yeah. well, that's what a uniform is. And she's like, Oh yeah. <laughs> I love those. I little loved details. all of that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So much like little realism, you know, it's, it's very cool. Um, as soon as, as soon as, uh, the, you see the, the hooligans, if you, if you will, uh, outside and they, they start, you know, wondering about, I'm like, Oh man, she's going to fuck you guys. Up. <laughs> well, it's, I love it. it. Go ahead. It goes back to another theme that I, that I keep bringing up is like, okay, this is a lighthearted show, but then they, they'll have mm-hmm. these moments that are very uncomfortable. And you know, the idea of a group of people being like, Oh, we're going to kidnap this child. And it's like, Ooh, that's dark. Yeah. <laughs> that's uncomfortable. And- that's, you know, it goes to to that thing we we talked about a couple a uh, couple of weeks ago where we're like, man, at, at any given mo- moment, this show can take a really dark turn and and put uh put people in in real da- in real danger, you know. Um, and that happened here. I liked it. Uh, the best part, you know, of course, is the results of that, which is Anya asking asking to be trained and then going to s- school and having to deal with bullies. Um. And in a in a situation where I mean, every every school's got uh, uh, a hierarchy, a hierarchy. But this is different, you know. This is the elites of the elites, and then the smart smartest of the not so elite that are lucky lucky enough to get into the into the school, or they're able to read minds. Um, and so she she gets exposed to all these other other things, and uh, her her moment with Damien and. You know he's bullying her. This this kid, he's the the son of of the uh, the target, the main target, Desmond. Um, and uh, uh, she remembers what Yoru says about you know only using your power when that necessary. Don't strike first. You got to have control of your your emotions. And she uses the you know I don't care what you said. It it doesn't ma- matter to me. Uh, just smiles th- through it throws him off his game for for a minute i dig that stuff man because that that's real pa- parenting tips right there you, you know I, you 
tell your kids to to not pay attention to bullies, laugh it off, play it, play it off. I always liked being like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't pay attention to things that don't matter, like your your opinion. It disarms people, you know. If if they can't get a rise out of you, mo- most of the time, to carry carry on about your bit business and, and move on to a, to another soft tar- target. Um, I dug it, man. What you, what you think about about that whole show, showdown and and her eventual punch when she <laughs> loved the they little put fire about, in, her, in her eye? That was they great. put about three episodes worth of budget into that punch. I mean, oh, it yeah. was <laughs> the animation on that punch <laughs> was so good. I rewound it a couple of times. I was like, "Whoa!" I mean the the face distortion, the move. I mean it was it it was mm-hmm. it was like watch, watching One Punch Man or something. I mean they they put they they put a lot into that. So I, lo- I that would that had me you know cracking up. But I, like you were saying, she's taking these lessons. She's learning even the way in which you know when the teacher comes and it's like, "What happened?" She's very strategic in how she words things you know mm-hmm. thinking about how 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 to word things so it is interesting seeing that character um learn and become spy ish yeah you know sort of playing a part and knowing okay well what would be the right thing to say to get out of this situation or to have it go the way i want it to go so i uh, yeah it, it, there's a lot of little things like that if you really like you said paying attention to the development of this family and man if they all figure out each other's abilities oh man <laughs> they'll be unstoppable unstoppable um i love the fact that she checks when she, when she decides it's it's time to hit them she looks for the teacher's position and distance yes. all that that's what i'm saying yeah it's like completely <laughs> oh. strategic every smart, move she made smart girl yeah Ow. What, what i did was, i dug that yeah um the friend is is cool character to be be added i forget the becky becky's her her name um and yeah you you know the episode wraps up with her having get, gotten a, a demerit i love that i love that her her spin of the story uh becomes a very elegant thing to <laughs> to the headmaster again yes i love the elegance uh i love i love the elegance jokes in in this um Getting into, you know, like the, I guess the, uh, episode seven spoilers, uh, you know, the biggest thing in, in this is to try to get them, uh, try to get Anya and da- Damien, um, friendly again by having, having her apologize. And, you know, you kind of see it coming a mile away, you know, the boys picking on her because he ends up with a, with a crush on her. And I, I like the little you know, Grinch that stole Christmas, uh, heart growing two sizes too. you know, from two sizes too small to, you know, growing, but there they got it like covered in, in, in black clouds. And, uh, just this really cool, sweet moment that play plays out quite, quite realistically <laughs> when you think about, about it, when you think about bu- bullies, especially, um, when some someone does have like uh, a crush or so, something like that at that young young age, they act so irra- irrationally. I really enjoy how this this show kind of manages to k- keep that type of realism, man. Yeah, everything from the hit him, you know, sort of not understanding, like oh, you know, he, he likes her and it, how it's frustrating him, but also her friend. You know, they were in that altercation previously and her friend's just like, you know, screw this kid. <laughs> yeah. You, gotta, you know what I mean? And just sort of that friend being there like that, that's I mean, every aspect of all those interactions. It's like we've, you know, seen that been through that, that like that's like it was funny. Um, I also like the Twilight stuff, you know, him being a dad yes. and trying to get it, <laughs> trying to help the mission. But I like, I like it when he separ- separates Becky from. Yes. The way. Yeah, he did that or, or putting notes in her school books and stuff like yeah, there were a lot of me over things. here yeah I love or that. the mirror <laughs> yes. he's like doing the reflection of yes. apologizing <laughs> on the on the thing oh man <laughs> it's so it's so good i love that um but of course the the family aspect of it is is the uh um the studying you know when when the apology kind of kind of falls through um Lloyd's, you know, like, okay, well, we, we need her to 
to get into this this uh, elite class. I forget the the name of the tier, the top tier where the where the kids can uh, get it, uh, invited to the special dining area and, and stuff. Um, he's like, you know, we, we got to earn those those merits. We got to earn those Stella stars or whatever whatever. Um, and uh, the studying, you know, she's not quite get, getting it. He's not giving her her the answers in his mind where where she can read it instead he's he's thinking of all sorts of like alternate plans and stuff like that uh this math qu- question that yoru tries to help help her out with as as well like when she's like let's divide it up like a body part yeah like body part. i love it <laughs> <laughs> and then she and then she gets distracted doesn't a f- five look like an s <laughs> How many times have you been do, doing something where you're studying or in focus so hard and your brain's just like, I need a distraction. Oh, yeah. And it's like, hey, doesn't that look like that that thing that you once you once saw that one time? And you're like, wait, it does look like that thing I saw that one time. Wait, no, 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 no. Study. It's like, and then remember that time I was swinging when I was eight and it was yeah. raining and I saw this thing. Oh, my God. Like I said, dude, there's so much uh, nice little realisms in, in this. I and it's not even like it's some profound thing. It's just so relate, so relatable from the the parents' aspect, from from Anya's aspect. It's just all so relate relatable, you know. Um, I dig Anya, you know, kind of doing a little bit of a, a self evaluation. Uh, she, she remembers what what Lloyd did for her with with the uh uh with the castle event and she you know i'm gonna i'm gonna do my part i said i would do my my best at school by god i'm i'm gonna do it so she studies on her own man and and we get a sweet little moment where she's like no mama don't kill papa yeah <laughs> Talk, talking in her in her sleep he's like my god what dream, what dreams is she having um I, and i i love the moment uh there there at the very end between um between twilight between lloyd and uh and uh yoru where he uh um you know solidifies to her you're you're part of you're part of you're the mother of of the forgers you know you're you're not in someone else's family because she's you know oh i i misspoke i'm jumping in on on you and your your daughter's moment and that's some something you and i know know uh people from blended families all all our lives and uh, have seen even step siblings have have issues adjusting and having those those people on on the inside of the family and uh, uh, say something like that that's like important and I I could see this show uh, speaking to fam- families that are are uh, blended or have been separated or uh, you know joined in 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 unique ways. I dig that, man. It's kind of cool to see it wrap, wrapped up in here. What what do you think of of those uh, those moments? Yeah, yeah, same. Um, like you said, within the within the course of uh, three or four minutes, we had everybody sort of reflecting on the family, you know, and and how to help the family, you know, accomplish its goals. And like you said, you know, even him realizing, you know, what I was approaching this the wrong way. I'm a father. This is how I need to do this. When he goes to knock on our door, he's like, "Hey, let's watch your show." You yep. know, and then and then we'll we'll worry about the the, the homework assignment. And yeah. Then to see that she had already been working on it. So like you, we were saying earlier, it's it's, it's a it's about family. I mean, yeah. that's what the show really seems to be about. And I'm starting to wonder what happens if part of his mission they're like, well, you don't need a family now. And yeah, you know, where, where will that go now? Obvi- did you wait till after the credits? On this uh, one. Oh, I didn't watch the peak for some reason. Before the peak, me. there's a scene. Ooh, no. Uh, I, it's I a quick scene it. in which a guy he's at his apartment, and another guy who was at the party where. Oh yes, yes, okay. yes. The bro, the brother, yes. the bro, the brother. I did see that. I did see that. Okay. Yeah. So, so that that he got me smiling because like, ooh, that's gonna be fun mm-hmm. next week to see. You know, we already have you know theories about that. So. Yep, man, indeed. Um, it's it's a fun show, guys. If you, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, go ahead and start. It, see, it seems like they got at least half the the first set of dubs up, just to, just about um, uh, over half. If they're you know, and in multiple only languages, one week behind. Oh. yeah, indeed, that's that's awesome. Um, anything else you want to say, say about Spy Family episode uh, 
uh, six or seven. No. No. All right, guys. Uh, check out lrmonline. Uh, lrmonline.com every day for all of your entertainment news needs and opinions. Uh, they everything goes up here. The the interviews from from the LRM YouTube channel, the the podcasts, uh, uh, written articles, uh, reviews, leaks, and 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 rumors. Our our opinions on on those things, all sorts of stuff. To toys, com comics, uh, uh, anime, Netflix streaming types stuff. Big mo movies, little movies. Uh, we've we've been around for for twenty twenty some odd years. Check check it check it out. Uh, that the podcasts uh, here on the on the Genreverse Podcast Network include uh, besides this show, Marvel multi uh, Marvel Multiverse Mayhem. We'll be uh, reviewing uh, Miss um, Marvel when it hits next month. Uh, the Cantina d does Star Wars news every week, but we will also be reviewing uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, dear yeah. God, that show scares <laughs> the crap out of me. Um, and of course, the can, the can, uh, I already said the Cantina, uh, Breaking Breaking Geek Radio, the podcast, uh, does a little bit of everything, lots of movie, uh, lots of movie reviews. All of our uh, podcasts go up on the YouTube channel. Hit the reds, hit the reds. Uh, I love my stutter sometimes. Um, because it's it's not it's a brain injury and and it's more of my it's more of like a it's more of like the processing gets gets uh stuck anyways uh go to the youtube channel hit the red red subscribe button Bes besides all of the podcasts in video format where you can see all of our ugly faces except my wife she's go gorgeous um i also do tra trailer reactions on on there so yeah Check that check that out. And uh, Brian also does YouTube. What do, what do you got go, going on over there, Brian? Uh, yeah, the channel's Pulp Mythos. Currently talking about uh, the series Barry, but I'll be doing Westworld and Only Murders in the Building Season 2 coming up. So. Ah, there you go. Brian does do quite a few little niche th things, which I don't know if you can really call them niche anymore because some of those things are super freaking pop popular. But yeah. Uh... That's it, guys. Thank you so much. If you are new, I hope you guys enjoyed the, this. And uh, let us know what other things you would like to see. Talk to you next time.